so much for supporting me. I love y'all. You know that. Let's say prayers. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful, blessed, and awesome day. Oh, Lord, we can't do anything without you. Have your way in every one of our lives. You know what we stand in need of, so have your way in your way only. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. My head is cut off. God dog it. Is that better? A little bit, huh? Y'all look. I saw uh eating pretty do this with Trap Kitchen off of uh Instagram and he did the macaroni and cheese inside of the chicken. Let me turn this around so y'all can see. Look at that. Should I do it this way? Yeah. Well, so this is some white cheddar macaroni and cheese with bacon bits. And I have my leftover B-Loves spicy smack delicious sauce. So, yeah. So, um, we're going to have that tiki punch again, y'all. Because I was, I was craving it. And I wanted it this particular meal. So, yeah, we're going to uh, toast with the tiki punch. Mm, how y'all doing today? I miss so many uh, people's uh, lives this morning. I had so much work to do uh, on my job, so I could not entertain my sweet Coco Tatum. Uh, somebody else went live. Somebody um, did a lemonade or jello cake or something. Kool-Aid. Ah, I missed that one as well. So here you go, y'all. <sighs> so this is going to be a toast for a great week. Do your thing. And y'all already know, whatever you do, do it good. So sip, sip, sip the good stuff. I told y'all I fell in love with this tiki punch. I mean, yeah, I probably need to go back to that uh, meat market once I get down to Two cans, I think I'm at four now. So, y'all, look at this. Take a bite. It's good and hot, too. Yeah. Y'all see that smoke? Take a bite. Yum, yum. <laughs> Give me some. This is my first time trying the white cheddar. Uh, this is not created by me. It's crap. All right, hot. Mmm. Mmm, it's good. It is. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 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 Them bacon bits do just really good with this too. Y'all. Yeah. I tell y'all that Um, look at that sauce, y'all. That be love and them got something good, honey. Maybe Black Denim should put his on the market. My channel. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. That's good. My channel is growing, y'all. Thank you so much for sharing me. But don't forget that um, look at the videos, y'all. I don't think I can say that enough. You know, don't just subscribe. We all need y'all subscriptions, don't I? I'm not saying don't subscribe. But like Coco Tatum say, tell him. I don't know why I say Tatum. Coco, tell him, said, we need y'all eyes. Mm-hmm. I realized that my uh, cigar, uh, my cigar video, yeah, if I like them cigars, I, I like them too. I'm going to have to do another one. Maybe I can do one when I'm actually 
uh, at the Cigar Lounge. Mm -hmm. But you know what? If he playing the music in the background, would there be a copyright? So maybe not. I bet not. Let me think about it. No. Y'all remember back in the day when um cigars and pipes were only a man's thing to do? Really? But he had, it's just amazing how times have changed, you know? Oh, mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. I'm sorry, y'all. This is so good. And you really can't eat B Love sauce on anything. It tastes good on any darn thing. Mm. My son had some last night. We had the leftover seafood off camera. Because we did the hot dog challenge. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, he really fell in love with beloved sauce. So he might be buying some pretty soon. Mm -hmm. That's the first time he had it too. Mm -hmm. That's good. Y'all, I, I, my birth, oh, my birthday is next Tuesday, y'all. I still don't know what I'm going to do. You know, you got this coronavirus. Even though it's not in, quite in the U.S. like it is in China and now in Italy. I just don't know. I need a hotel room, that's for y'all. Um, although I live by the water. Anytime I'm on vacation, I want the water. <laughs> Still, it don't matter where I go. Oh, this chicken is good, too. Mm, look at that. Look at that ginger, y'all. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Yum, yum. Give me some. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. That uh, pickle ginger just really adds greatness. Um, y'all know that I'm a relationship guru, of course, if I can say a guru, but a you know expert. And I've been stuck on relationships as well. Uh, remember, I told y'all the other day that. When I did that OMG, it said, the, uh, why are you single? The man is waiting on you to tell him something. And I said, oh, he must be shy. There was this one guy. We dated. But I got, I got tired of him telling me about his financial situation. I do not take care of men. I don't. So I don't know why he kept telling me about it, you know? And it became a turnoff. But I received a call about a month ago. I haven't did anything with it, though. And he told me that I put the fire under him to want to get out and do more, to be better, to work more. So he said he had three sources of incomes now. Okay. But a lot of times, your feelings change over time. You know what I mean? Because it, it took him maybe a month to start reaching back out to me. And now, every day, I hear from him. Every day. But my feelings have changed, y'all, you know? My feelings really have changed. So what he feeling now, I don't feel. So why can't, you know, it's amazing that we can't all have the same feelings at the same time sometimes, you know? 
Don't mess up. Cause I'm not where he is now, you know. And he always send me to Texas to say I miss you, sweetheart, so much. Or I miss you, baby, so much. Oh, nah, 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 nah. But I don't feel that way with him either. So I always just say thank you, you know. I can't tell him that back. And so, sometimes I ask myself, maybe if I just see him one more time, you know, go on another date just to see if I can get what I had back. Because, you know, a lot of times they say if it left that fast, it wasn't there in the beginning. I guess. Because <laughs> I sure don't have it now. Mm -mm. I don't have it. This is good. Now, single ladies, how would y'all handle that situation? Would you go on another date just to see if you can get the feelings back? Or to see if anything can happen? Or do you just keep pushing forward? And so where I'm going with this is this. A lot of us, single women that is, you know, we want a relationship. You know, I want—I don't ever want to be desperate. I don't never want to hurry anything. Because I believe that all good things come to those who wait. If you're patient. So, you know, some somebody, because they feel that they need somebody right now in their lives, that I think that they would reach out to him and try to rekindle what was. And I think that that's kind of like settling. I don't ever want to settle for anything that my feelings changed on, you know? Because I always have that, what if, you know, what if? So, I definitely did like him in the beginning. But my light was not love. Hmm. So, you know, when I walked away, I shut everything down. Um, one thing I've learned, when you are have a made-up mind, I hate that my head is cut off, y'all. When you have a made-up mind and you, you, you know that things have changed and you don't want to be with this person anymore, and I said this a few videos back that so oftentimes, we get back, we settle, and sometimes when we say we're done, we do that back and forward stuff. I don't do that back and forward stuff, y'all. I think it's such a complication in any relationship, that is. So, the back and forward, I did that in one relationship, y'all, one. And that's the one that broke my heart the most. And I've been single since that, y'all. That back and forward, I know I went back and forward eight times or more. It was complicated. And I don't ever want to do that again. Ever. So that's why I can preach what I'm preaching today. Because I've been through it, y'all. I just, I just, you know... I would think he would have got it by now because I only say one or two words. Thanks or thank you. <laughs> That's all I say. It's just that relationships have changed so, so much. So much. Are we willing to fight for what we believe in with a man? Just it depends on how you feel. I don't know. But at uh, some point, I know that I'm going to meet 
not companion. I know I am. I don't know when. I don't know where. And I don't know how. But I know I'm going to meet him one day. Sometimes I believe when we have to wait like we do, I think it's, you know, sometimes God has his own way of, well, his own way of doing things. So he could be fixing him and fixing me before he bring us together. Because, you know, when once, you know, the Bible says when, when you come together, you're going to have some troubles. But sometimes he got to get us prepared. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. He do. So whenever that time comes, it's the right time. I'll say that. I don't like all them bangs, y'all. I don't like all them things. It's not enough that we're hearing now that you got to stop eating chicken. Mm -hmm. I love it. That is so good. Woo. I'm getting buzzed. Did y'all think I was going to eat this whole chicken? <laughs> mm-mm. It will be leftovers, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm not a breast girl anyway. I don't, um, I don't like chicken breast. Mm. So I'll probably just eat the, the, the wing. The leg, the thigh. But you know, I like a chicken back too, y'all. Do y'all like chicken backs? I do. I do. I don't like the long back. I like the short back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My God. That's good. Mm. Oh, yeah, I went shopping. I got quite a bit of seafood in my freezer. Right. But there was no more blue crabs. No more live blue crab crabs. So like, mm, I guess it's the season or they ain't, they ain't biting. There was no more blue live blue crabs for me to pick over. Yeah, I'm going to ask this question again. I think I asked it a few times back. Do, do people still introduce you to somebody they think you can like? You know? No. <laughs> it don't happen. I would like that to start back. I would have talking. Oh, maybe. Oh, I better not say it out loud. I just had a thought. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need some investors though, so I'm gonna think about that. I'm gonna pray on it actually. Yeah, well, and I almost ate a this half over here. Um, so look, you beautiful people. Thank y'all so much for coming back. I hope that y'all enjoy my content. Sometimes there's no real agenda for me. I, I know I love relationship talk, marriage talk, and my life, my story, life goes on. So that's what I have to offer. So I hope you all like it. But we're about to say goodbye for right now. We have another time around. So I'm going to leave you with this. Ooh, have a great day and whatever you do. Do it good.